Hey, today I'm talking about the new psychological mystery thriller Blink Twice. This is Zoe Kravitz's directorial debut and she knocked it out of the park. I crazy loved this movie. Oh my god. The basic premise is this woman has kind of a sad life, but she also has this obsession with this tech billionaire because she met him in passing one time and now she's gonna meet him again soon and she's really excited. Hopefully she'll make a good impression this time. And yeah, no, I freaking love this movie. It's so good. Like I remember thinking really early on too, just like how well it's made. Like before we even really got into any of the story or anything, just like the direction, the cinematography, all of the subtle storytelling things that they were doing was just so top notch. I was blown away by how well crafted of a film this was. All of the actors did a great job. The lead, Naomi Ackle, was really great at giving the whole range of emotions motion while still feeling true to her character. Like I won't say what happens at the end, but at the end there's kind of a little bit of a shift and it's not who she had been for a while and that makes sense, but it's still who she was throughout the entire film. Like definitely like it feels true to her character to do this thing at the end and boy oh boy was it a satisfying ending, I do have to say so. <laughs> I mean really could go on and, and praise every single other actor in this film, but that would take up like the entirety of this review so I'm just gonna call out one more and that's Channing Tatum. Channing Tatum crushed it. He was charming when he needed to be charming. He was intense and terrifying when he needed to be intense and terrifying. You could understand where he was coming from while also still despising him deeply. So that was just a really great nuanced performance. This is probably my favorite performance of Channing Tatum's. He crushed it. It's just such a good strong feminist film and like it doesn't sugarcoat things and it does plainly state what it's about but it also doesn't like bash us over the head with what it's about. But because they did plainly state it there is no confusion with what it's trying to tell us, which I liked. I think that was a good idea to do that, especially with how they balanced it. And just, I don't know, man, it just really connected with me and really worked for me. It was just such a well done film. I really hope Zoe takes this as a win and continues to do directing because I can't wait to see what her next project is. I think she absolutely crushed it here and I hope that she sees that. I hope this movie does really well because I definitely want to see what else Zoe Kravitz can come up with. So yeah, no, I thoroughly enjoyed this film and I would wholeheartedly recommend it. Though I will say it does start with like an actual trigger warning at the beginning because it does cover some really dark and messed up stuff. So I would just kind of caution a little bit but it's a very well crafted film so if you can't handle it I would say go for it because it's just it's it's such a really freaking great film. And now for my ranking I put this at number four in the really like section. And this is have a total of 56 new movies so far this year.